Let's move on to main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Sam. And Sam writes, Hi, John. So, with Avatar 2 being delayed again to December 2022, I now realize it's coming out the exact same day as Aquaman 2, December 16th. I am going to be honest. I didn't like Avatar, so I will be seeing Aquaman 2 on that date. My question is, what do you think will happen? Will one move? Or will they stay on the same date? I mean, that, that's a good question. Are they gonna, will one move or one stay on the same date? Or what do you think will happen? Will one move or one stay on the same date? Also, if it comes out the same day as Aquaman 2, do you think Avatar 2 has a chance to catch up to Endgame with the competition on opening day? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, I think that is a fact that actually flew under a lot of our radars. That... When they announced that Avatar 2 was being pushed yet again, Rob, all joking aside, Avatar 2 was supposed to come out <laughs> in 2014 originally. Yeah. In 2014 is when that movie was. So it's been bumped and then bumped and been bumped. Then finally, 2021. And now it's been bumped again to 2022. And they're saying every two years in December, 2022, 2024, 2026, 2028, there's going to be an Avatar movie. That's the thing. But when they announced that move, I think what flew out uh, under a lot of our radars is the fact that it landed on the exact same release day, December 16th, 2022, of Aquaman 2, which gives a scenario of two giant films, one that made over $2 billion at the box office, the other joined the Billion Dollar Club, opening up on the same day which raises a couple of questions. What could possibly happen here? What's going to go on? Now, this is, of course, all set up because Disney has now uh, moved Avatar 2 from its previous date on December 17th, 2021 to December 16th, 2022. The news was confirmed via the official Avatar Twitter accounts. James Cameron shared a letter acknowledging the delay while also explaining that it has to do with not being able to utilize their sound stages in Los Angeles. That's bullshit. I don't believe that for a single second. Anyway, here's what Cameron had to say about it, then went on to quote James Cameron. This is, of course, from Deadline. So, Rob, we've got this situation where we've got these two massive movies scheduled to come up on the same day. The way I see it, there are three possibilities here. Possibility number one, Aquaman 2 moves. Possibility number two, Avatar 2 moves. Possibility number three, they both stay and keep the date. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I think the least likely of that scenario is them both staying on that date. I mean, there's just, look, it, it's bad enough. The, the concept of having two big films open on the same day, having two billion dollar films, and one of them was a two billion dollar film opening up on the same date is just lunacy. Absolute, complete, utter lunacy. Uh, they might do it. But it doesn't change the fact that it would be absolutely absurd and ridiculous for them to do so. I'll tell you which one I think is going to move and I'll tell you why. There's a couple of reasons. Mm. One, I think what's going to happen here is Aquaman 2 is going to move. Aquaman 2 will move. For two very important reasons. Number one, Avatar. while I am personally looking more forward to Aquaman 2 myself, Make no mistake about it, Avatar 2 is going to be the bigger film. Now, there's, there's a lot of people who feel like me that's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in Avatar 2, but I'm much more interested. In, uh, th that's fine. But what people like me have to understand is just because I feel that way and just because maybe my immediate circle of friends feel that way, you have to acknowledge that there is massive interest amongst the general movie going audience for an Avatar 2. It just is. It's kind of like me with Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel beyond all shape and measure, but I still acknowledge that half the people hated that movie. Right. It doesn't change my love for the movie. I love it, but so I, but I have to acknowledge that a lot of people hated that movie. So I acknowledge that. And I think people who are just like the very anti-Avatar group, okay, it's fine that you, you feel that way, but you have to acknowledge there. This is this was the film. That was not only the biggest movie of all time, it held that record for nearly a decade. It held that record for nearly 10 years. And it took an MCU movie with over a 20 film buildup 
and about 30 major A-list movie stars all coalescing into their one final climax to finally beat that movie that stood for almost a decade in the top spot. We just got to acknowledge that it's going to be the bigger film. Now, a lot can change once we see trailers. Like we might see the trailer for Avatar 2 and see the trailer for Aquaman 2 and the trailer for Aquaman 2 may blow everybody's mind. But you also got to understand, while a lot of people like me liked Avatar 2, it's not like it was the most beloved film of the year for a lot of people. You know what I mean? I think a lot of us were very pleasantly surprised by it. I really like Aquaman. But it's not like it was in my top five favorite movies of the year or a lot of people. Avatar, to some people, changed their lives for whatever reason. You know, and it was nominated for Best Picture. So reason number one that I think Aquaman 2 is going to be the movie to move is because I think just clearly Avatar will be the bigger film. I'm not saying it's going to be the better film, but I think it'll be the bigger film. The other one, though, is this, and this is probably the more important reason. Disney has already announced their plans long term. They want Avatar December of 2022, December of 2024, December of 2026, and December of 2028. They're not moving. Hell or high water, Disney's not moving that date. They've already planted their flag and announced to the world, this is our long-term plan for this. It's this. They are not going to budge. And Rob, if you remember, we've already seen a couple of other situations where a Disney and a Warner Brothers property were competing for a date, and both times it was the Warner Brothers company that decided to blink and move, which was, by the way, that's not a bad thing. Moving it to a more uh, more advantageous date is not a bad thing, but remember no. Wonder Woman made a move. Remember when it was, what, was it Batman versus Superman that was slated to go head-to-head with Captain America Civil War? Yeah. And who was the one that moved? They moved Batman versus Superman, and it was the right move. So you look at all three of those things. The thing that I think Avatar is going to be the bigger film. I don't think Avatar is going to hit $2 billion. I think the opportunity for that has come and gone. I think maybe if they released it back in 2014, 2016, maybe I think too much time has passed. I still think it's going to be a massive movie. I do not think it's going to be a $2 billion film. But then again, ask me that question again once the trailers come out. But I think Avatar is going to be the bigger film. I think... Disney has got long-term plans for keeping avatars in December of every other year. And then when you look at the history, the precedence of this, there's only been a couple examples, but of the other previous two times when Disney and Warner Brothers have had two major properties going head-to-head, Warner Brothers has been the cooler head and moved their date both times. So because of all of that, I believe that we're going to see Aquaman move. If they don't move... If neither of them move, which one wins? Well, I think they'll both do big business, but they're both going to hurt each other. And I think uh, uh, Avatar 2 will come out on top, but I think it won't it won't do as well as it could have if it wasn't going head-to-head against Aquaman. I think Aquaman will still do very well, but it's not going to do as well if it wasn't going head-to-head against Avatar. So I think it's mutually assured destruction. If they both end up releasing on the same date, I think Avatar 2 wins, but it's going to be hurt. I think one of them will move, and I think it's going to be Aquaman. Rob, we see this big clash of titans coming up. These are two big, big projects, both films I'm looking forward to. Again, I'm looking a little bit more forward to Aquaman, but what's going to happen here? Does Aquaman move? Does Avatar move? Do they stay on the same date? How do you see it? What's going to happen? Well, the big difference between the two is that one is already shot and the other isn't. You know, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that, uh, that's a big uh, thing, too. <laughs> Aquaman 2 hasn't begun production yet, whereas Avatar 2 and 3 were shot uh, simultaneously and they've wrapped, I guess. I mean, I'm sure they'll do more. But um, so I think Avatar 2 is probably deep, deep, deep into post-production right now. I can only imagine. Plus, isn't it funny that both movies take place underwater? I mean, oh, Avatar that's the other big is, thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's like these two Waterman movies <laughs> or Water Navi versus the Atlantean movies. And I think it's kind of interesting. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely think that Aquaman 2 is going to move. I, I mean, people, they've announced the date. I don't even think they probably booked theaters this far out. I mean, they don't know. It's it's not unusual to have a movie that hasn't even gone into production yet, especially now with movies that have already been made that we're going to be released a year from now or even being pushed back a little bit schedules are changing so i don't think it's i don't think it's out of the realm of possibility or is it going to bother anyone when when aquaman 2 becomes a summer movie i i was kind of uh, speculating a little bit what 
just on its base level. I mean, look, Aquaman was a massive success. It became the first DCEU movie to join the Billion Dollar Club. It was a fun movie that that I quite enjoyed. I think you liked it even more than I did. Yeah, I, I thought it was just goofy, hilarious fantasy fun i couldn't believe what i was watching armored sharks fighting dudes on seahorses come on it's like the <laughs> now, greatest thing. And, and avatar it's been a long time man it's been a long time since avatar was in theater so understanding those things uh, let's say they end up going head to head which one does better at the which one comes out on top which one does better at the box office and i understand we haven't seen trailers yet we don't know really but this far out speculating events which do you think will be the bigger film? See, I think what's always forgotten about Avatar is I think we in the movie pundit space, it's it's fashionable to slag off on on Avatar. To sit there and go, oh, it's Ferengeli in space or dances with whatever it is, the Navi. Where I saw Avatar with my mother. My old my set she was 70 at the time, and she's not exactly the most imaginative woman. She's a real pragmatist. She'd never seen a 3D IMAX movie before. When it was over, my mother's eyes were bugging out of her head. For maybe the first time in her life, her imagination was completely engaged. And she turned she turned to me and she was like, How did they do that? And I think that was the case for a lot of not hardcore moviegoers. They went to Avatar and they were amazed. And I think that Jim Cameron, no one should ever bet against Jim. Titanic's going to be a flop. This Avatar thing's not going to work. Everyone's always betting against JC. But here's his his big directorial return after Avatar 1. He's playing with his new technology. He's been to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. So he's going to have a lot to say about underwater stuff. And I think he's going to blow our minds again. So never bet against him. I think that Avatar 2... Once again, my mom will she'll be like, "Can we go to that?" She's eighty one. She'll be what? She'll be eighty three in in um, in two thousand twenty two, and and she'll be like, "Can we go see that? I like that Avatar movie. I want to see that next one. I want to go." And I think that because people like my mom will want to go, it's going to push it over the top. My mom has no interest in Aquaman. <laughs> I I think you raise a great point. Listen, a lot of people forget for many years James Cameron held the title for biggest box office film of all time for a lot of years. It was Titanic forever. Then it was only beaten by another one of his movies, Avatar. He held the top two spots at the all time box office forever. I mean, just for a long, long time. And, and I'm sure there must be a Bible verse somewhere that says the fool says in his heart, it's okay to underestimate James Cameron. I, there's got to be a Bible verse about that somewhere. And, and a lot of people forget too, like when Avatar came out and I, I had no problem with it being nominated for Best Picture. I thought it was a great film. I, I didn't think it should have won, and it didn't. But it's hard to imagine in today's day and age when we have like $200 million opening weekends plus, Avatar opened with $75 million, which is a very good opening weekend. But you right. never think that a movie that opened with $75 million would go on to be the biggest film of all time, right? But that's because... That movie, like you were saying about your mom, that movie completely captured people's imaginations. People were in awe of it. People were starting to build religions around the idea of the Navi and all this kind of stuff. Now, it hasn't stood up in pop culture like a Star Wars has or anything like that. And that's why I don't think it's going to capture that title again. But I think we would be very, very foolish that just because we, like you pointed out, Rob, it's fashionable to kind of slag on Avatar. It's fashionable. I think we'd be very, very foolish to take that and then make some kind of assumption that, oh, nobody cares about Avatar. Oh, you're wrong. You're so wrong. So now again, maybe the trailers come out and it looks like crap. But <laughs> but, but but until that time, man, I, I think you got to acknowledge that. Listen, I was so interested in this. I decided to make that the topic of today's question of the day. So just before the show started, I jumped on uh, the community tab on our YouTube channel. By the way, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. I jumped on the community tab of our YouTube channel, and I simply put up a poll asking you guys that simple question. Right now, Avatar 2 and Aquaman 2 are scheduled to release on the same day in December of 2022. Which one will blink and move dates? I gave you guys three options, and already over 5,000 of you guys have already voted on this. I gave you three options. Aquaman will move. Avatar will move. Neither will move. 
57% of you, a big majority of you guys are saying Aquaman will move. Aquaman is going to be the film that moves. And that's not saying anything negative about the film. But you're saying Aquaman 2 will move. 29% of you are saying you believe Avatar 2 will move. And 13% of you are saying, you know what? It's going to be a nuclear showdown. It's They're going to go mano a mano. They're both going to keep the dates mutually assured destruction. 13% of you are thinking we're going to get a showdown at OK Corral. Uh, that's where we're at right now. You guys, I'm going to leave that poll up there. You guys can go over to the community tab on the YouTube channel and cast your vote on that. But once again, 57% of you are saying Aquaman 2 will move. 29% of you are thinking Avatar 2 will move. And 13% of you are thinking neither one of these suckers are going to move. All right, guys, questions for you. What do you think about all that? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.